Hi, my name is Jen and I'm back today with Chris Dufresne. Hi Chris, how are you? Hi Jen, it's great to be here. Thank you so much for tuning in. So for all you Inner Circle members and some visitors, questions will be answered today. He does have a lot of questions to get to. I do just want to let people know that for you visitors, you can go to the store and you can purchase a single webcast. So if you want to see if your question was answered, do go to the store and purchase the webcast now. I also want to let you know about the special going on with Chris. That's on the homepage, so you can find out all of the details there. And both Sylvia and Chris have extended their schedules, so you can get in for an appointment with them in a very timely fashion. So do call the office if you're interested. The phone number is 408-379-7070. I also want to let you know in these webcasts, Chris answers one question per person. So if you do have more questions, then a reading is a great thing to invest in. You are able to ask questions in several different areas of your life, such as personal relationships, health, career, finances, family, social, and spiritual. Always check the lectures and events section on the website. Sylvia is always adding dates. She's touring through Canada and the U.S. all year long. So please do continue to check back there to see if she's coming to a city near you. Also, um, she holds spiritual salons in Campbell, California, so those um, dates can also be found under the lectures and events schedule. Later on in the year in October, she'll be going to Israel and Egypt, so it's going to be a trip of a lifetime. You can click on the banner on the homepage, and that will give you all of the details for that. Okay, I like to remind people Chris is not a doctor, so please do consult your physician if you are having any health problems. And Chris, do you want to get started? Yes, that would be nice. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so the first question we have today is from Linda G. And she asked, I would like to know if my husband's book will be published. Yes, I do believe that it will be published. I think that it's going to take about a little over one year's time. And I think the first release will be a small number amount, but I think that they'll keep on publishing it. So I think it'll do well, yes. Jamie B. I would like to know if my totem animal is a panther. I have seen the shadow of this animal or something like it in my backyard. Yes, I believe you're 100% correct. It is a black panther, yes. Loretta G. I would like to know if this is my last life. I feel like I've had enough. Yeah, I believe it is your last life, but your lifetime before this was a Victorian time period. I feel you died quite short this lifetime. You got a long lifespan, so yes, you are an old soul, dear. Priscilla R. I would like to know if you see me and my family moving anytime soon or if my husband's employer is going out of business. I believe that he is going out of business, yes, and I do believe that there is going to be a move, and I believe it's going to be a state change to the higher desert, and I believe that's somewhere around Arizona perimeters. Jasmine T. I would like to know the name of the guy I'm meant to be with, and when will I meet him? I think it sounds something like Josh time period that you'll meet him, somewhere around September, October of this year of 2010. Jamie P. I would like to know what is wrong with my health, with me health-wise. I have had a lot of problems and have been diagnosed with fibromyalgia. I have a lot of neck and back pain without many mm -hmm. answers from physicians. I think that is part of the soft tissue within the fibromyalgia. I think it can be a con contrast between the fibromyalgia and the chronic fatigue. I also believe there's a smidge in the depression and anxiety, and I also believe that there's something slightly off hormonally, so I'd see an endocrinologist combined with that, and I'd really get your nutrition, especially with the high protein looked at. I would consider some lecithin, which I think is for nerves. I think it also can help a little bit with joints too as well, but I think under a doctor's care, positively, thinking the power of the prayer and the exercise, but mainly not pushing it so much to where you listen to yourself. If you're having a really tired day, just sit on the couch and do nothing. I think by doing this, instead of being too stubborn and push through it, I think you could sa save being two weeks flat on your back of just being one day flat on your back. So I think that'll be a turnaround to where your own immune system is building back over the next year and you'll be doing great through this. Julie J. And I just want to take a minute to thank you all for tuning into this webcast. We very much appreciate all the different emails that are coming in on these hard times that we're all having here. So God bless and God keep you all. Thank you.